Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Kit Kat Ginger, and today we are building a tiny home in the world of Glimmerbrook using only base game and the Realm of Magic game pack. So this is a starter cottage home, basically, and um, I first wanted to make use of like the rounded walls. So that's what you see me doing here first is just trying to make like a little tower. Um, it, it, it's very like cottagey vibes. It's not like a tiny, very small castle or anything. Um, it is more of a cottage, but it's just 64 tiles. So um, it fits within that tiny home restriction. And then it is a budgeted build. Um, it has two bedrooms and one bathroom. So I sort of went with like, oh, maybe it's a three sim home. Um, I'm not sure if this would be fun to play in. Um, sometimes tiny homes are not as enjoyable to play in with like a lot of sims, but there's it's not like super cluttered or anything um, or um, tight in there with the furniture because honestly there's not a lot of furniture. The items, some of the items from the Realm of Magic pack are a little bit more expensive than is preferred, like Eco and, oh gosh, I think Werewolves especially. Uh, those packs are like, things are pretty inexpensive, whereas Realm of Magic, uh, <laughs> the items are a lot more expensive. Like I tried to use the stuff that goes in the kitchen and had to end up just switching to the base like slightly like not the cheapest ones but like the slightly more expensive um, kitchen items I think the only like um, item that is from the pack that's not like just regular furniture is the shower I was able to use that but I switched out the toilet that sink that came with Roman magic because it just did not <laughs> it was not cheap enough um, so here I flipped around the front of the lot so that the little tower bit is in the back. Um, I initially started with it on a platform, and to save money, again, I deleted the stairs. Um, but the, the entryway I end up putting over on the left side, so that part that like juts out, I put the uh, a window on. Uh, and actually, the, I don't think the windows from this pack are super expensive, but the like functional items are. I tried so hard to put stairs in this build and it just did not <laughs> work. So we go with a ladder. Um, and I think that it ends up working fine. Downstairs we have like a kid's room basically with a single bed and then upstairs we have the, uh, the bed from Realm of Magic. So I put the little um, kitchen over on the left there um, initially have the stairs there, but then I lower it to save money. Um, the windows that came with this pack, the ones with like the stained glass are so cute. Uh, I didn't go with that giant one, but I just go with like a slightly bigger round one. And honestly, like with the stained glass windows, it, you don't have to have, I mean, it does, it actually looks kind of empty, but you don't necessarily need to have like a bunch of artwork inside just because the stained glass windows are like very um they have a lot of visual interest here i am just messing around with the windows uh, especially on the curved walls they don't fit great but they fit okay and then i used uh just the plain windows in the end instead of those yellow stained glass windows on a little bit of it just because there was a lot going on on the outside um with where those windows are they're like outside the the wall so it's fine it's what happens i think that maybe i adjust it a little bit so it does get a little smaller on the roof line up there but that will that will be a little bit yeah, I thought there was too much going on, so I changed it a little bit. Um, and then just that random window on the front there, because uh, 
there's no really small uh, windows that came with Realm of Magic, which is a little bit of a disappointment. It'd be cute to have like one that that does sort of mesh a little bit better. I really like that green. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty sure I used it um, on another speed build, but I really like that green paneling. Um, I think it adds a lot of like natural colors to the build and I just think it's really pretty. Um, eventually we'll get to the inside. This kind of took me a while. I did go with like the green roof because I thought again it looked kind of whimsical and pretty. Eventually we'll get to the inside. I haven't actually done it gameplay with the Realm of Magic pack. I did a little tiny bit this last Halloween um, during like a charity event, but it really, it was not very much at all. So I would love to, you know, someday actually play with the pack as it's meant to be played with. Um, I don't really use a lot of the objects either from the pack in my everyday gameplay, but like the windows are so pretty. I really should use them more. So now we just figured out the floor plan on the inside. Initially I go with those teal doors because I think they're, honestly they're my favorite ones, but I do change them to like more of a brown one. Um, I thought about doing a platform, but there was just not enough space. It's very, it's a very tight area. So it didn't really make sense to lower the sort of sitting area. There's no TV in this build. There's a computer upstairs in the, I guess, what we would call the parents' room. So there is one up there. Um, here I am, wishfully trying to use the Realm of Magic um, fridge and oven. Because they are super cute and like, again, this pack is very like whimsical. Um, but yeah, because of the cost, I had to get rid of them. They're like over a thousand simoleons, both of them. And the second cheapest stove is like 500. So it really, it did not make much sense to use it. The tile, like in most of the wall coverings are pretty inexpensive. So that helps. But some of the objects, they're really outside the price point on this build. It took me, I changed, eventually ended up changing the um, wallpaper in the bedroom downstairs because the flooring, it just looked really weird with it. Um, I tried to use the Realm of Magic flooring and it's just really busy. <laughs> so I did not go with it. I wish you could have changed it, you could change it to like just the, like without the little emblem on it or whatever you would call that. Um, also, I round rooms are so irritating sometimes with the flooring glitches, just all the glitches in general that they have. Um, so it can be kind of frustrating and irritating. I think I just go with some some plain wood on the floors, and I think it looks nice. It ends up looking fine. Again, with the with the budgeted build, it ends up being a little bit bare in some instances. Yeah, that's the only item that I actually keep from, uh, besides like the beds and chairs and stuff. Um, I think I do keep the mirror as well, but the sink, toilet, the appliances in the kitchen, they all change to just generic base game things to save money. Um, and also I wish I had more rugs that came with the pack. Like, I feel like that would be really nice, but they don't, so it's fine. I'd go with that purple bed, and that's why I end up changing the, the wallpaper, just because it doesn't really work with that purple bed. Um, with the black trim on the bottom. I wish there was a wallpaper from this pack that didn't have the like wood paneling at the bottom, but, you know, it doesn't exist, so you have to go with it. So I just went with this purple. And I think it ends up looking pretty good in here. Uh, again, because of the budget restrictions, it is kind of sparse. We got a couple toys that end up going in there. Um, but it 
it's not it's not super busy in there. <laughs> I love the bed that came with, came with this pack up the the big double bed. It's so pretty. It just it reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. I do use the dresser from this pack in here because honestly it's not that expensive compared to some other dressers. Um, especially the the ones that are like you know that at that height so I do go with that one and then just put like a blurfy in the corner and a couple toys on the dresser um, I feel like the animal toys make sense because they're kind of like familiars <laughs> in like um, in that type of lore um, and I also change that rug to just like the plain circle rug and use uh, use that rug upstairs instead Apologies if you can hear my dog, like, licking himself. <laughs> this is the second time that I'm trying to record this voiceover because initially when I started the first one, he, like, shook his head really hard, so that was going to be on <laughs> the recording, and then he started barking in the, in the bedroom, so I was just like, oh no, we're going to have to restart this, aren't we? Here I am removing the platform to save money and get rid of those stairs. And I could have just had it be like one step up actually, but I think it looks fine with it being just flat on the floor. I tried to use this desk and it's like a thousand simoleons, so I end up using one of the base game ones that is a lot cheaper. So here we go, I change the rug down here so that it's one of the base game ones and then just put the other one upstairs. I don't know what he is doing. If you have pets, um, I'm sure you can relate. They do weird things, make weird noises all the time. Oh goodness. He's, he's an interesting fellow. The other day we were out walking and this dog, um, I talked about this on Twitch, but this dog would like, came out of nowhere. She tried to like nip him. Um, and she was like a pit bull mix, so she has like a really strong jaw, and I've never seen this dog before. She does live in my apartment complex, but it was so scary. Um, Winston didn't really care that much. He was just like, what, ma'am, what are you doing to me? And then he just wanted to go inside. Um, because we were trying to go inside. But dogs are so weird. Please be a responsible dog owner. <laughs> That's my one wish. Uh, so here I'm just furnishing the living room area. I do think I keep that rug from um, base game in there because it is cheaper than some of the rugs that came with the pack. Although I think we only got like three or four swatches. Um, oh no, I think I'm changing it because it was a little too busy. I end up putting like quite a few just kind of random plants around because there's not a lot of space, and so there wasn't room to put, like, more clutter items, plus, you know, we needed to save money. So, um, that was the main issue, but there are just a couple of plants that I end up putting around because, uh, you know, why not? Also, I jump around a little bit in this build, which I keep trying not to do, but it happens. So here we go. We've got our basic, uh, base game items to save money changing out the fridge, uh, which I hate that fridge for that build, but you know, if you do play in this with like a little wizard and they, you know, get some spellcaster, I think they're called, um, they get some more money, you can always upgrade to the nicer um, pack fridge and oven. Cause it just looks weird in my opinion like it doesn't look like it fits and even the the fridge that is like slightly more like um metal well it is like kind of made metal but even that one is too was too expensive so we just couldn't go with it here i am flipping out the desk because it was too expensive um and i do move it over to that side underneath the little um painting artwork whatever whatever that would be called also now in the background the uh, heaters turning on so hopefully I can like dim that a little bit 
but so just a couple of um, items I do realize now that if you look at the kitchen um, the counters I don't think they're actually the same one I think that it is the different swatch sometimes it's hard to tell because the lighting will be weird but it looks like the corner the back corner counter is um, a completely different swatch and I don't think I changed it on the gallery um, so who knows maybe they ran out of <laughs> that countertop and just had to use a different one um, here I'm sort of moving on to the outside because we want to get some landscaping and stuff in for the budget and I wanted to do this little like trellis moment but because it kept counting the tiles I couldn't do it so I ended up putting um, just an object from base game that kind of pretends to be the trellis and I think it ends up looking nice as well um, but yeah I just couldn't get it to work with the, the tile restrictions and I even tried to it did make the, the the bathroom a little bit smaller and it should still be functional and everything but it just was not working out <laughs> I thought that like using fewer tiles would work but it was still counting that even though I deleted one of the tiles so I don't understand sometimes this game doesn't make sense to me so here I am just using the little trellis or over I guess overhang awning that's what I said I said it was an awning um, use this little awning and just sort of move the things over um, and then I'll add some like ivy and stuff to the outside I do just use like the cheapest base game pillar and I think it looks nice it looks fine um, I wish it was a little bit of a richer uh, brown to sort of match the the wood tones on the doors and window or the windows and door but I think it looks nice and then now we're just on to landscaping at first I'm just going through like debug and grabbing some items um, there there's like that ivy stuff that I don't know where you would use it, but it's just like a weird shape, so I didn't end up going with it. I raise up some greenery to put up there. Um, some of it is kind of like poking into the top of the of the build, but if you you know if you're actually playing, it's it's not as big of a deal because if you put the walls down, it should go away. Um, yeah just lots of landscaping I end up changing the brick on the outside to like a, a whiter a whiter type of brick or like a lighter beige color just because um, I thought that it looked brighter and just nicer to to be like that color um, but yeah I think it ends up looking good um, at first when I was land started landscaping I was like ugh, this is not good like why would why would I post this but I think in the end it does look pretty nice uh, the landscaping really brings it together and I do also end up adding a little bit of a pond over on the right side of the build um, just to fill in that space and then like lots of trees a debug fence and yeah I just it really grew on me as I finished the build and also I make use of those like little cobble paving stones to make a path and yeah, I, it's super cute and whimsical, perfect for a spellcaster uh, family, and you know, you can take advantage of the lot um, benefits from having a tiny home. I put a little, um, yeah, this little half wall up to kind of hide the trash can just because it didn't. I didn't like the vibes that the, the garbage can was giving off, so just cover it with like ivy, lots of base game, or not base game, lots of debug uh, greenery, you know, so it's free and doesn't impact our budget and we can stay within the um, 22, 24,000 um, simultaneous budget.
just laying out some cobblestone so that it looks like a cute little path. I sized some of them down so they look a little bit different. And I really, I really do like the way this build ended up. Um, if you like it as well and you want to download it or want to give it a like on the gallery, my gallery ID is just KitKatGinger12, um, the number one, two, or numbers, I suppose. Um, because I think at the time Kit Kat Ginger was not available, um, which was unfortunate. But so Kit Kat Ginger 12 for uh, the build. I'll also post the link in the description below so you can find it directly. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit of landscaping here at the end. And I think it looks really nice. I figured out I needed to add some lighting, but none of the debug debug lights from the pack actually give off light so uh at least that matched the vibe of the world so i didn't end up using any of them i put one outdoor light from debug and then those little um like the literally the cheapest lights in the game i just kind of put those in the entryway uh to brighten it up and then uh that debug light so I think it looks super nice. I'm going to add some terrain paint. Hopefully when you download it, it doesn't like delete all the terrain paint or, you know, replace all the terrain paint with the pebbles. <laughs> uh, because I know that is a glitch that has been happening for such a long time. Um, and I think here is where I change, yeah, the walls to that lighter brick. Uh, which I really like it. I think it looks nice. Uh, there was like a rogue toilet paper roll that was just in the yard still. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I hide some of the, the like trim so that that bit in the back behind the kitchen so that you don't see that missing part. So I just put some ivy on the wall because it, it really helps to cover it up. Um, but yeah, this is pretty close to being done now. If you liked the build video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss anything, and turn on that notification bell. Um, and I will be back, I'm sure, very soon with another um, 100 tiny build list uh, build or, you know, something different maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to update or post videos once a week now um, so we'll see how much I keep that up with you know having a full-time job and streaming and everything so if you uh, if you want to keep up with me more just in case I don't I'm not able to keep it regularly upload updated um, you can follow me on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Kit Kat Ginger.